All right, so I actually slept uh, at about 7 and I woke up at about 10.24. Yes, this is me. So this is, we're going to the whole of Osaka today. Yay! All right, so this is our breakfast. A little shot of coffee, lemon tea, cigarette. I got this rose cigarette and we're just at the lounge. We're at the lounge chilling. I'm gonna walk around Humba. Then maybe go to Osaka Omega. Really depends. Okay, so I know there's a nearby ramen store, but I just can't really pinpoint where. So we're just gonna roam around here. All right, so this is a mall, I guess. So remember yesterday, my shirt was like Gucci belt. That wasn't low key enough, you know. Japanese were like low key. That was like the lowest key I could give. I don't know if you guys can see it, but right now we're on the way to JR Number. And if you don't know, there's actually three number stations. Suji, Nankai, and JR. There's so many number stations, man. God dang, it's so confusing. Alright, so this is the JR number station. A very nice. Actually, when I'm at my GPS setting, right, it says that the opposite, like, it's JR station, but I was like lost. So apparently, JR station is uh, the number, right? It's actually underneath. So, doing above. There's no signs at the ground floor saying that, oh, here's JR number. No. It's underneath, it's hidden. Alright, so right now we're going up this tower. And I'll be there thinking, going to a cafe to just look around, uh, shop, and ask what do I do in Osaka Station? Or what do I do? You know, where do I go? What type of, that type of stuff, right? I know in Osaka Station, I I've been here so many times. I spent like one month here. So there's nothing I, like every tourist attraction I've been here, you know, nothing new surprises me at all. So, a little, bit, a little bit of research to see where can I go. The weather is so hot, so I don't want to walk that much. Alright, so I just decided I've actually walked around a little bit. In the Osaka station, there's really nothing much to do, okay? In like the whole of Japan, most places are just residential here, right? But in the summer, which is like right now, it's hot as fuck. And there's literally no place to go. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like, it's just shopping mall and shopping mall and shopping mall. There's really nowhere else that is uh, worth it to go. Like, it's just stalls and shops and emptiness, right? And I don't really want to go anywhere <laughs> because it's 30 degrees. 30 is Celsius. I don't know what's that in Fahrenheit. Just to give you a look at how big this mall is, it's actually it's a lot more taller. It goes up like 13 floors. But this is like this big, dude. This big. Anyway, this is like in the summer, and I've thought about it since I've come here back in December. My summer trip, I would just have to end it a little bit faster, you know? Try to make the most of it, baby. Because everywhere I go, I'm just sweating like a fucking dog. So it's just so hard. City farm, bitch. So it's just so hard to just do anything because it's always so constantly sweating and so hot. You know, I just want to make this trip somewhat acceptable after further consideration i think this trip actually did run pretty well because due to the weather i can't even do shit compared to the winter where it's snowing and it's cold it's nice uh during the summer it's just plain death you know but it's still somewhat enjoyable and i do think that the days i spent here is like quite okay so, so right now we are going to ichiro ramen uh, it's somewhere near here i just can't really pinpoint where it is it's somewhere very close to here, about 500 meter walk. Alright, so the Ichiro Ramen in Umeda is hiding, dude, I swear to god. Mm -hmm. I have one of this. One of this. One of this. And... Should we get this? This looks delicious. <laughs> These are like literally the coolest things that you could get. Like they just give you this plate and you can ask for stuff. Like just place it on there, you get the sensors.
Oh shit. Oh fuck. I've only seen this type of vending machines in Osaka. Alright, so this is the number station at night. Today we just walked around uh, Tenoji. We just walked around Tenoji and Osaka, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So we didn't really do much, you know. I wanted to go to the shop, but every shop is uh, out of my budget over there. So we just went back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. And also, I wasn't really in the mood to vlog either. Another reason why you should learn Japanese is because when you ask people at the JR station where are certain places, and you would ask them fully in Japanese. Because the majority of uh, Chinese citizens or just people in general, they'll ask them in Chinese, right? If they're Chinese or Asian, they'll ask them in Chinese. And if you use Chinese and very simple English to ask them, they won't really know how to answer you. So it's better to use Japanese so you can learn basic Japanese directions. Like a very good example was just now when I asked the GR station where the person is. Before me was uh, two uh, Chinese girls asking like where it is in Chinese and very broken up English. Like they, they clearly don't know English. So when they asked it was like all broken up. The GR person wasn't really uh, that helpful or that excited to help them. And when it's my turn I ask for in Japanese. It's like uh, what did I say again? Uh, Nan kai number station, toko ni desu ka? And then he said, Masugu Migi Yongban, which is front, uh, straight, right, number four. And he gave me a smile, and when you ask in Japanese, people would be more likely to help you and be more satisfied and be more happy helping you. I heard that those two Chinese women say that that dude is like bad or ignorant for not helping them, but you can't really blame them. It's like, bitch, they speak Japanese. You're the ignorant for not learning Japanese. You come to their country not knowing the language and demanding help. I mean, they are known for their helpfulness, but if you don't speak their language, I mean, that's the most you can get, right? Another thing that I like about Osaka is that you can smoke on the streets. In Tokyo, you'll be caught dead if you smoke on the streets. Alright, I know my bed's very messy, but this is the hair dye I bought. Lucido, right? It's a natural brown color, so let's just hope it works, more or less. So, uh, this is the box itself. Oh, shoot. This is the box itself, and then this is the instructions. Let's see if it works. Alright, so this is my hair color right now. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's still fucking black. Alright, it's still black as fuck. I mean, I do see a little bit of brown like here and there. Let me like here, you can see a little bit of brown, but it's only like reflective light. Now I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna leave it for a lot while, maybe like 20 minutes, and then we'll see how it goes. Always read the instructions, bro. So apparently it says, for like natural brown whatever the hell it is like these are like the five minute mark five minute marks are like light brown ash brown something like that and then this is a uh, brownish a little bit more brownish and then to get fully brown which is around like 18 to 20 minutes so we want something like that so we gotta put it longer so the longer you put it the more brown it gets but to get like this dude's color is like five minutes to get a lot more brown is actually uh if I'm not wrong, it's like 20 minutes, 18 to 20 minutes. Can you even see the brown? I left it for like more than, I left it for like half an hour actually. Can you guys even see the brown? I don't see the brown. Like, do you guys see the brown this shit? It's still black as fuck. Like, given that I never dyed my hair, right? And I've dyed it like two times and it's like about close to an hour combination. It's still black as fuck now i'm going to i'm going to the convenience store right now to see if i can get like a new hair dye but yeah all right so i just got a new one just the gatsby one let's just hope it works 